never meant to be a distraction towards my teammates, but I mean, through it all, they stuck with me. I stuck with them. I, Sacramento is a place. I'm just letting the record be known right now. Sacramento is the place I want to be. Just for everybody to know, I don't want to be anywhere else but Sacramento. And um, I mean, we came together tonight through all the all the ups and downs and played together, and we got a, a big W. Has it helped having some of the older guys like Chuck and maybe a little JJ to kind of help you, keep you in the right direction and kind of help grow with your maturity? Um, absolutely. Um, I mean, I know I make my mistakes, but hell, I'm human. Everybody makes mistakes, so it just seems like my mistakes are <laughs> bigger than what they should be. But at the same time, I'm, I'm still growing. I, I never said I was perfect, and I got a lot of improvement to do. I know that. So, But I'm going to keep working. I'm going to keep fighting, trying to help my teammates win games. Um, definitely a big win. Um, just through everything that's been going on, this is definitely a big win. Um, it, it felt so much. I mean, it, you just like everybody said it. You you just felt free out there. Like you didn't feel like you had like thirty pound bags on your back or. You, you just felt free. It felt good to be out there. We were having fun. Even, even though we were battling back the whole game, we were having fun at the same time. We were having fun working. And, I mean, it, it felt good out there tonight. What made it feel so good? I mean, honestly, I don't know. But it, it felt good to be out there tonight. I can say we actually had a lot of fun. It, we had fun tonight. And, and, and at the same time, we were working. But the big thing is having fun. When's the last time you had fun? I mean, seriously. Uh, Laker game or going back to last year? First game, we had fun. I mean, we were out there playing together. But but the, the way we played tonight, it was unbelievable. So. It, oh, training camp was never fun. <laughs> it's so I can't even answer. <laughs> Uh, I'm a little bit of day. I mean, I feel like, you know, we were just out there playing with his free, but uh, I mean, you know, we just got to keep working with him. You know, he's a great coach. You know, he put in new things for guys to get uh, looks at at the rim and look at the basket. You know, we just got to uh, work with him. Not to take anything away from Paul, but it, it, did it feel like you guys were trying to win one for Keith tonight? Uh, I mean, we just want to win regardless. I mean, not just for Keith, but, you know, just, you know, we want to win. You know, nobody really want to lose, but, you know, um, we, we did win for him. He got his first win as a, as a Kings coach. You know, we happy for him. Mark said playing tonight felt good. Did it feel different to you? Yeah, it felt different, man. It felt like we was more free, you know, like, I mean, we didn't just come down, you know, uh, knowing we had to go to the certain play, you know. It was like Coach Keith was up every play, you know, switching it up, you know, calling drags or floppy, switching things up. You know, and uh, I think that was, I mean, a more free rhythm for us out there. You know, we did a good job of getting it, uh, getting it done. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was just free. You know, he wants to go out there and have fun. I mean, uh, he's been putting in sets, you know. It's funny, you know, he's been putting in sets as a timeout. You know, he's running up good plays, you know. Uh, you know, you look at him and you think, like, man, it was a good place he's he running for us, you know, because it's not just one person, you know. He's getting everybody involved. He called a couple for John, a couple for me, a couple for Marcus, and a couple for Cuz. So, uh, I mean, that was good, you know, just getting everybody involved. He's drawing this up on the Yeah, he's drawing up in the timeout, yeah. Coach Keith. I definitely agree. I mean, uh, we far are spread apart on this team. You know, we young, so I mean, I think he's right. You know, he he talked to me about it about just calling the guys over for dinner and just watch some of the other games and uh, you know, just be a team and a family. You know, and I think he's right with that. You know, to be good, you know, we got to be uh, with each other uh, on the court. You know, and that helps with us on the road. <clears throat> yeah, it's been a real strange day. I, I mean, it's my first time in the NBA, and uh, since I've been playing, you know, I, I had my first time getting a new coach. So, uh, you know, hopefully it's the last one. <laughs> and uh, we just can work with him, you know, because he's a great coach. You know, uh, just got to go out there and play. Did you feel what, what Keith was trying to do? You don't have to be. I mean, like you're saying, sometimes you feel struck that you had to do. Do you feel like Keith was just let you play more different 
positions? Just do more things out there? Just, run, just play more freely? How do you do it? Yeah, I think he's doing a great job of uh, letting people play free, you know. Uh, he's letting everybody get a chance, you know, and uh, that's the most important thing, you know. So guys can't come, you know, complaining about they haven't touched the ball, so, you know, uh, he's making everybody get a chance, and that's the good thing about it. He's a really good communicator, too. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, he's good, you know, to talk to, you know, on and off the court, you know. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm just, uh, you know, happy, you know, uh, we got him, you know, we're doing a good job so far, you know, we just got to keep it up.